Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be uh, checking out the iNav setup with the Tandem X20 radio and Ethos operating system. There is just one little matter I have to take care of first. I'll just show you, I've uh, changed the stick ends to my favourite sort of 3D printed wide ends, that feels really nice to me. Uh, someone asked me how the screen goes in bright sunshine and I uh, can report to you that it works very, very well in bright sunshine. Now, I did some footage yesterday out in the sun wearing polarised sunglasses and uh, I could see the screen nice and clear and bright and uh, even better when you turn the brightness all the way up too. So operating in bright sunshine is no problem at all. Turn the brightness down a bit maybe. Can see that a bit better, there we go. I've set up an iNav model and we have Alon's elevator throttle rudder, then mode switches on 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. I also have um, all my callouts as well. So Amber's helping me with all the modes. I need to register and bind the uh, little R9. R9 on access. I've already done it, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. RF system. So turn the internal module on. Choose access. Uh, then choose uh, turn 2.4 off and 900 on. Antenna internal, choose the power. Then register. register. Hold down the button. Turn the power on and it shows up. Select the register. Uh, register it. There we go. Registration OK. Now we'll go to bind. bind. Uh, Cycle the power again, receiver shows up, select the receiver and bind OK. So we're done. Good to go. So now what I want to do is work out the endpoints. Make sure we're going from 1000 up to 2000 on the roll. So you can see, going to 992. So we need to uh, adjust the minimum. Uh, and it's pretty much the same as OpenTX and the Tyrannus. Need about 97, 98, and maximum, same, need about uh, 98 or so. There we go, that's done. And we do the same for uh, pitch. It's 992 on iNav, we need to go down to 98, 97, there we go, and maximum 98 there as well, that'll do it. Uh, so you get the idea, it's pretty much the same as OpenTX and Tyrannus really, those limits, and we do the same for your and throttle as well. I'll just find out what my alternate OSD channel is, it'll be in modes. Channel 10, so on the radio I need to add uh, channel 10 on a slider or a switch. Add mix, free mix, put it down the bottom, should label these so I know what they are. Edit that mix, always on, uh, source, let's use this slider here, left slider. Scroll right down to choose the channel, and we're going for channel 10. Check channel 10 is operating, there we go, so that's going to give us the alternate OSD outputs, so we're all good. Now I want to check whether we can acquire all the telemetry. So, power up. Go to the telemetry page, discover new sensors, 
And there we go, look at that. All the same as OpenTX, brilliant. So now I can configure on this screen, uh, I can change to telemetry and choose whatever current, whatever um, parameter I want. What would I like? I might have current on there. And down the bottom I might have choose telemetry again. Uh, let's go for RSSI. There we go. So now we've got current and RSSI coming from the flight control board. That's very cool. And we also have all the alternate OSTs that I've set up as well on the slider here. So it's all working well, all working exactly the same as OpenTX and Tyrannus.